Hi, Mark Donovan here with Riverside Marine. We are going to go through uh, the Garmin setup, screen setup. Um, you have a variety of uh, items in, on these Garmin units, so it's a good idea to set up uh, pinned or what they also call favorites because you've got different kinds of charts, sonar options, combinations, more combinations, and then all this other stuff. So, pin, what do you want to put there? I would put the nav chart. Add that to my pinned. I'd put the sonar or fish finder. Add that to my pinned. I would skip over the next couple of things and put um, switching for your lights and whatnot. I would add the engine gauges. I would add the all important stereo system. I would add the Yamaha gauges as well. Last but not least, on this vessel we have Sea Keeper Ride. I'll add that to pinned. So now I can get to those things that I want to get to. Uh, easily okay so first I'm gonna start with your nav chart okay they come from the factory with the uh, the numbers in the corners I like them down the side panel and um, to make that happen you go to options you get the options for the screen you're on and you go to edit overlays and go to data and hit sidebar now all your numbers are down the sidebar now I don't like the way this is exactly set up so I'm gonna change it a little bit okay He's got GPS speed, he's got fuel flow, he's got fuel level 10%, he needs to get some gas in here. He's got his depth, RPM, and engine trim. So actually that is pretty good, I'll, I'll stick with what we have there. But I got to the screen and got to the side panel by going to options and editing the overlays and hit data, sidebar. Now you can put the data on the top screen, other side of the screen, you can have double sidebars, you can put them on the bottom. I like it. On the sidebar so that's where they're going to be for now okay the next thing i'm going to go to is uh i'm going to skip over to okay let's do this your fish finder okay right now it is turned off because we are up in the air on a lift and this fish finder will uh in a couple hours will burn out the transducer if it's not down in the water and being kept cold by the water so the way to turn this off if you're on a trailer or on a lift and you're working with other components you go to options for this screen and you hit transmit off that's on that's off now we're not worried about the the sonar um, being damaged by being out of the water and running at the same time so I'm gonna go to my uh, engine gauges first I'm gonna go to the Yamaha screen okay very nice screen got a lot of lot going on here um, when your motor's running and you get these blue blocks in, in a row right about the middle of the screen that means everything is good pressures, temperatures, batteries, all that's good. You have your, what gear you're in or not, RPMs, engine trim, how many hours on the engine, your your trip meter, how much fuel you use in that trip, all that stuff is right there in front of you. Great screen, a lot of people like it. I am more partial to the engine screen, okay? Even though this is all digitally driven, it looks analog to me. So I'm gonna set it up the way I like it. First of all, we got the gas in the tank 10 percent over on the opposite side of the screen i'm going to change whatever is there by pressing and holding and hitting replace data i'm going to put fuel flow rate so that's how many gallons per hour the engine is going to be using when we're underway okay you have water temp over here I, I think more important than water temp is the engine coolant temp so now we have that going press and hold replace data. i'm going to put the engine oil pressure and i'm going to change this one to engine trim so now i got engine gauges there speed that's good rpms that's also good water temp up here i'm going to change that i want to monitor my engine hours for uh service reasons okay so this engine has 15.6 hours another five hours i have to take it in for its 20 hour service over on this side it's showing you total fuel economy which is nice to know maybe it's not nice to know at five dollars a gallon but i'm going to change that value to something else um i'm going to press and hold Replace data. I'm going to put water depth. Okay, since the depth finder is off, we're not seeing anything. You would have the depth way down here in tiny little letters, but I like it big, so I stick it up there. Now, that's the screen I like. If uh, you have many, many options, if you go to edit the gauge pages and change the layout, you can do bar graphs, you can do circles, lines, all kinds of stuff. But if I touch one of these, I'm going to lose everything I had on that other screen. So I'm going to go back, back close it that's a screen I'm gonna stick with 